Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have my The Mots by Fashionsta. It is from August. Let's get in it and see what I've got. The Box by Fashionsta is a $24.99 box. I like it. I just, every month, it is packed full of goodies that I enjoy trying, that I enjoy using. It's different things than what we get in a lot of our other boxes. I just, I'm always very happy with it. I still get it for $19.99 because if you sign up in the first few months when they upped the price, you were grandfathered, so it's an even better deal. But at $24.99, I would absolutely sign up for this. This is the box Express Yourself. So that is what August is. And we open it up. Ooh, can't see much because of that nice black shred that no matter how many of us beg them to quit using, that is the only fault to find in this box. So if that's the worst thing that happens today, so be it. Their black shred for some reason seems to make a dusty mess all over everything. Generally, we get five or six products. It's usually between $125 and $150 in value. Looks like we got six products this time and it has a $100 and $48 value. And that will tell us about all of the products and we get our value down here. Let's just reach in and do this. I don't think that I know what is in this month's box, so that's fun. Right on top, we have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Twist Up Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. We'll have to see about that. The deep brown might be too dark for me. I know in this lighting, my hair looks really dark, but if you watched any of the spoilers that I did downstairs by my front window, you know, in real life, my hair is much lighter than this. I don't know why it looks so dark up here. I mean, it's worth going back and checking out one of those videos. It's crazy lighter than this. Ooh, I like the thinness of this. Does that mean it's gonna be a really thin? See how thin this is? I love the ones that are like the Anastasia brow pencil. The Wiz that has a really thin, yeah, you can do like hair with it because it's such a small pencil. I like that. Let's see how dark this is. Luckily, my daughter has much darker hair than me if it does. Oh no, I think I can make this work for sure. I'm gonna draw. I don't know if this will come across, but see how I kind of drew an eyebrow? It looks like little hairs. I, I just really like these small, thin, pencils. I, I like that. All right. I like that a lot. The paperwork says ultra slim retractable brow pencil for maximum precision when filling in brows. Oil-free non-comedogenic formula delivering smudge-free pigmentation that looks natural, paraben, and cruelty-free. Everything is cruelty-free, but only two talk about being vegan. But this is a little firm when you put it on, but I'm saying that as a good thing. I don't love it when they're super creamy because I don't like it to look like I took a crayon. I like it to have more, I like it when they're a little more firm. Okay, reaching in next, I have the M Greengrass Skincare Hand and Body Butter in Malibu Surfer. That sounds good. Inspired by Malibu, California, it is, oh, guys, are you ready? Sweet pineapple, banana, Brazilian jasmine, toasted coconut, and amber. This has got to be fantastic. It is eight ounces and it says apply to the entire body as often as you need. A luxurious ultra hydrating and nourishing hand and body butter designed to absorb quickly while leaving the skin quenched, restored, and protected. It says variety item. I think probably that means that there were other scents and I cannot imagine being happier than with the scent that I received. I mean, it's a little summery and here we are at the end of summer, but come on, it's coconut and pineapple. I, I, I don't care what season it is. I'm gonna love this. And if I didn't say it while I'm trying to pump it out, it has a $24 value. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I took it out to make sure that it wasn't broken because I can't get it to pump up. It might not be open. I'm not sure what's happening but it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, well, why won't it pump? That's the better question. I just got it all over my hand trying to hold it, so we're gonna put it on and see how it absorbs. Oh, smells. All those fruits, and it's kind of sweet, but clean enough that you don't feel like, I mean, I don't feel like a child bathed in fruit flavored something. It just smells delicious. Definitely smells a little like summer. Mm, that smells good. Okay, it just needed more time or a or more aggressive whatever. I have it squirting out now with no problem. It smells amazing. Pineapple is what sticks out the most. I don't really smell the coconut. I think the banana might be what in the background is making it super sweet, but the overarching scent is definitely the pineapple. 
Okay, you guys can quit watching me sniff that now. Okay, next out of the box that probably doesn't smell like pineapple is Mirabella Sculpt Mineral Highlight Contour Powder. That is what it looks like, and I received it in Love Struck and Destiny. That is what it looks like. These look like usable colors for me. That is what the inside looks like. Very pretty. They both look shimmery. Let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, oh wow. <laughs> These would be gorgeous eyeshadows. I don't know about my cheek. Can you guys see the shimmer and glimmer on that? I don't know that, let's read the paperwork. Don't jump to assumptions, but those would be gorgeous, particularly this one, the lightest that you can probably barely see in the corner of your eye would be stunning. The paperwork says Mirabella Sculpt Contour and Bronze Duo, $32 value. Easily blendable mineral-based pressed powders to create dimensionality on the face. Can be worn alone or layered to create a variety of looks. Paraben, gluten, and cruelty-free. I don't, would I want shiny as a contour? Let's just take a little bit and find out. I'm gonna tap right into the darker of the two colors and come here. Of course, this is the whole, I can't see it and you guys can. I, I can tell that it put a little color there. What I can't tell is if it made it awkwardly shiny. You guys will have to let me know. Contour isn't even something that I used to use, as you can tell by my approach to putting it on. I think I like the color. It's just a matter of whether it's shiny. Let me know below what you guys think. I don't really know the Mirabella brand. $32 doesn't sound like it's like a drugstore type thing. Let me know, where does one purchase that? All right, next I have another Bella Pierre. I have a HD setting spray. <laughs> I don't know which is gonna go up first, but I am 30 seconds off of Triggered. I just did a BoxyCharm that had add-ons in it, and in the add-ons I had a setting spray that it hit me like a hose. I'm a little gun shy. It is high definition makeup setting spray. That's what it looks like. I thought this box was all full-sized. I must be wrong. Or maybe this is full. Oh, this says that it is $19. It is 1.05 ounces of setting spray, 30 ml. It says $19. I will look up and let you know here if that's really the price of one ounce of this setting spray. Goes on without leaving your skin feeling sticky or greasy, locking your makeup in place for hours. Summer sweat proof and less transferable for a flawless look, paraben and cruelty free. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm a little shy about it, but I'm gonna do it. But $19 for an ounce, do you? Oh, this is another firm looking one. I really don't wanna do it. I'm gonna hold it as far away as I can, ready? What is with these today? This is not a mist. That they should find another word. This is the one, I happen to have it still sitting here. This is the one I just did in the BoxyCharm. This one hit me like a hose. This one was just like only about 50 bigger droplets hit my face. I don't know if you guys can tell. It, both of those need to be decanted. It might be a fine spray, but the mist is not a bueno mist. Okay, reaching in next, I have another Mirabella. I'm hesitant to put my glasses on. And it says Iconic, E-Y-E, Conic. And that is what that looks like. I have it in winged liner and stamp. Oh, no, it is a winged liner. Ooh, we're gonna have fun with this. Oh, I have liner on today. Dang it. All right, let's see what this looks like. That Bella Pierre has a scent to it too, which doesn't really bother me, but if you were scent sensitive, it might. I actually had one of these, I think from Ciate London, that is the stamped winged liner. I have used it three or four times, not a lot. It's probably out of date. And it says liner and stamp on each side. Let's play with it. Let's go with the liner first. Now we'll just draw the line that you would draw. Very nice. It doesn't seem to be bleeding at all into the lines on the back of my hand. And then this is the stamp. I forget how to do this. But yeah, you want the pointy side out. <laughs> I'm good at eyeliner, can you tell? And then you would stamp it. So mine looks kind of like a devil's tail, but in theory, if that were your face, you would just come back in with the liner and you will match it up to that top part. I mean, I think I'm not really a liner person and kind of blend it in. Wow, even on my hand, I can't do it. Okay, that's what I ended up with. <laughs> Perfect wing <winged> eye. <laughs> okay, well, just for the record, it is a very nice black. It is a true black. 
It is a little shiny, but it is matting down, so it's not gonna stay shiny, I don't think. And it is not bleeding out into the lines in my hand. So I think it would do very nicely on your eyes. Let's see what the paperwork says. Mirabella Iconic Winged Eyeliner and Stamp Kit, $20 value. Create the perfect symmetrical cat eye every time with this liner and stamp duo. Quick dry waterproof formula, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's paraben, gluten, and cruelty. I actually have seven products in this box. I just found this down there. And at the bottom of the card, I found this. And it says Farmer's Touch Hudson Valley Sunblock Balm, $12, completely organic, made in the USA, cruelty-free. And it is a facial sunblocker. It doesn't say what percentage, you know, like is it an SPF 30, 50? It is coconut oil, something else I can't read. I think it might have gotten a little wet. Zinc oxide, arrowroot and calendula wax. You know, it probably got hot. It's, it, you can tell that it's, it, you know, in the middle of summer, it's, it's 100 degrees here, so who knows? I mean, you could still, for sure, you could still use it. How wet is it? Yeah, it's too wet. I'm not gonna screw it up, twist it up. <laughs> but you could take it and try it on your, oh yeah, it's on the outside edge. But that might be fun to try. It's fun, we got an extra bonus item. And the last item that I saw down there was the Espresso Yourself, the Beauty Crop eyeshadow palette and that is what it looks like that is kind of fun and it says made with coffee extract a little pick me up for your eyes actually my eyes could use the pick me up <laughs> the paperwork says that it is a 21 dollars value and it is 21 matte and shimmer shades formulated with coffee extract to reduce puffiness and dark circles around the eyes and antioxidants to brighten and tighten vegan and cruelty free i try not to to get this around my eyes so I don't think it's going to affect they say dark circles yeah so I can't I can't see how it would affect my dark circles because if I've done this right <laughs> this is not gonna be where my dark circles are just, that's just me though well it's pretty the pans are a little small but that doesn't matter it's more than enough we get enough palettes that that's more than enough it is very neutral let's see if they smell like coffee I will probably play with this palette because it has a lot of nice neutrals and shimmers in it. Doesn't smell like coffee. Let's go ahead and swatch a couple of these. This is that one that I, oh, they're very creamy. This is the color that I always talk about liking because I like to use it after I put my primer on my eye. I like to use this over it so that I find that everything else blends a little better. But I would use that and then maybe this in transition or this one. These are the two that I would probably like best in transition, depending on whether I'm feeling a little warmer or a little cooler. And then let's see what some of these shimmers are like. Let's just do the first four across here, since I have four fingers. Well, I mean, I have 10 fingers, but I have four easily available. That is what they look like. So they're real subtle. It's not a real bright, flashy one, but you know, this is how I live my life, right here in these nice neutrals. Can you see how pretty those are? That's so pretty. So I hope they apply that nicely because I like that a lot, particularly strawberries and cream. I was going to say it has this one next to the dark one has a little bit of a rose gold feel to it. And its name is strawberries and cream. So that makes sense. They knew it had that kind of reddish tone to it. But oh, they're coffee names. So we have flat white, gingerbread, cafe frappe, caramel latte, toffee, mocha, double chocolate chip. It goes on and on. French roast, gold roast, vanilla latte, raspberry, mocha kiss. This would be really pretty as the dark corner with that strawberries and cream on the inside. That would be super pretty. Ooh, cinnamon cream. That looks like a really, oh, that's pretty. So these are very pretty. Amaretto, who doesn't love amaretto? I don't know that I've had amaretto coffee. That's this one. These are really pretty guys. Americano, that's actually my drink. That's what that looks like. All right, that is my The Box by Fashionsta for August 2021. I always say that this is the last box that I usually get for the season. Sometimes it'll be a month where there are some that lag and they might actually come in or go up after this one, but this ships intentionally, not like they are bad shippers, they're not. They ship toward the end of the month and I don't mind it at all because it comes at a time where you don't have a million other ones. So in this box, which would have been $24.99, you got $148 worth of value. You got the Beauty Crop Espresso Yourself, this M green grass it smells like pineapple and coconut and banana and deliciousness this bella pierre shower in a little tiny bottle <laughs> the mirabella sculpt which i put on i'm interested to see how it looks up there the stamp 
eyeliner. So you can do a winged eyeliner, even if you don't have the mad skills. I mean, not like mad skills like me, mad skills like I don't have them either. The Bella Pierre eyeliner. Oh, no. I was going to say, we have two eyeliners. It's a brow pencil. Try to trick me. I didn't fall for it. And this Elm Facial Sunblock. Let me know what you think. I really like it. I think it was another great month. I think I will use everything in there, except for I will say the same thing I did when I did this boxy with this in it. I'm gonna have to decant this. This this is, pff, I, I like a super fine mist, but I have just finished a Ciate coconut mist. That's, I love that mist. I love the smell. It The bottle is, it's misting perfection. Actually, I might put this one in that. Anyway, thanks for coming by guys. I hope you're having a great day. I can't wait to see you again. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out and take care of yourselves out there. Bye guys.